Hi, welcome to another video from Dock Lock. We're going to have a look at the mailbox locks that we're now installing. Uh, this is one of the new ones that we online on our lock shop for people to purchase. If not, our locksmiths can come around and install them. This is a different model to what we have been previously selling, which is this one right here. This new lock uh, has a different tail on the back, which gives you extra positions. And that's one of the reasons some people might like it. it might be a little bit easier to install. This is the final product of the lock installed, as you see with two keys, and it's using the round key, which is higher security. These particular original locks, which you might see now, we're gonna do a quick demonstration on how easy it is to simply get two pieces of metal and jiggle the lock open. This technique is called lock picking. And as you can see, for a professional or somebody who is trained, can generally open locks like this in a few seconds. One of the other big factors is with these type of locks which we're showing now is that they display a number on the front of the lock and there's also a master key. So if the thieves aren't lock picking, they're using a master key or if they're not using a master key, they can actually get a key cut from the number on the front, allowing them access whenever they like. As you can see, it only takes a couple of seconds to get one of these mailboxes open and if you had a master key, it would be even quicker than this. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to install one of the new locks and we're going to show you what it will take to install a lock. At the moment we're just having a quick look at how easy it is to actually open these locks. Most of the time it only takes about three to five seconds. That is why it's worth improving your locks and upgrading to the new locks so that your valuable information and your credit cards and checks and things like that aren't falling into the wrong hands. All right, so first step is first, we need to remove the lock. And it's simple, most of the time there's a screw on the back. These ones have a horseshoe retainer that you can simply pull off and slide the lock right out. The locks we're using is a 16 mil, um, 16 mil long lock, and the locks that came out are about a 16 mil long lock as well. So it's a straightforward replacement as far as the depth of the lock. And we're just simply installing the lock here, as you can see. The new lock has a big uh, gold screw nut on the back that you simply uh, screw on the back, taking care not to strip the thread or cross, cross, thread, cross thread the nut. So simply take your time making sure that the nut is actually going on square and is on the actual thread. Now simply tightening it up. An adjustable uh, socket for this or um, a shifter is ideal. You simply need to just tighten it up, tighten it all the way, and then the lock is secured into the mailbox. The actual cutout for um, this type of lock is quite standard. They all take the same type of cutout. And once the lock is in position, you simply make sure that the top of the key where the little nipple is, is pointing to the 12 o'clock position just making it a little bit easier on putting in the key, giving it a nice firm tighten. Oh, drop something there and back up we go. Now the next piece is the, um, uh, the direction cam. It allows the, the lock to turn in a particular direction, also allows it to turn only a particular way. Now we're installing the cam or locking tail, many people call it different things. We're installing that on the back of the lock. Uh, this one, as you can see, has four cutouts on the back. The other model we sell only has two. So once again, making sure it's not cross-threading, putting the nut on nicely. This one, you just simply tighten up. You don't need to tighten this super tight. You just need to tighten it firm. It actually has a little bit of piece of plastic in there, which keeps it all nice and tight. And yeah, just tightening it finally there. Okay, now the lock is actually fitted to the front of the door. You don't have to fit these on mailboxes, but it is recommended that you do have a good security mailbox. People uh, fit these type of locks to all types of cabinets and doors and all sorts of things. Mainly um, cabinets, display cabinets, things where a little bit more high security is recommended. Now the next problem we have is the length of the tail. On this particular one, uh, the length of the tail is too long. The actual tail depth is fine because it's the same as what it originally was the length is too short. So we're gonna use a grinder and we're gonna quickly just trim off just a little bit of the base of the cam, allowing it to be the right size. When you close the door, if you feel that the door lifts up, 
it means that the tail is too long. So by simply grinding it, it allows you to shorten it, locking into the locking position. It's a little bit hard to see, but you might see inside there, you'll see one groove um, behind the grinder. You might be able to see it on either side at the moment. That groove is where this tail needs to lock into. And there's only a limited amount of space of where it can lock into. So if you turn your key and you find it's getting hard to turn, it's most likely not, um, it's too long and the back of the tail is pushing. So looking at the edge of the mailbox, if you see, if you see the door try and move up, it means the tail is still too long. This is, um, well, this is basically a real video showing on how long it takes one of our professional locksmiths to install one of these locks and also the modifications which are sometimes required. Sometimes they take different modifications. This is just a very straightforward standard one. We have a lot of people buy these locks expecting to put them straight into their mailbox or a cabinet and everything be exactly the same. It's not necessarily the case. Uh, this is just displaying that a few modifications might be necessary to get them to fit. Different mailboxes have different locks and different sizes, different setbacks, and uh, all these can be adjusted most of the time by uh, adjusting the back of the tail. Just showing you now, it's fitting quite nicely. The key's working, everything's working, and the door is still just a fraction too high, so we're just giving it a slight a slight grind as well. You can use other methods, you don't have to use a grinder. We find a cordless grinder quite efficient and quite effective, but the key should turn effort effortlessly, nice and easy without any binding, and without any problems. That's the finished product. If you're interested in mailbox security locks and you'd like to know more about it, feel free to go to our website. Um, if you'd like to purchase it online, uh, look at our website and we can help you from there.